Hi guys, this is jsrno.com and I'm here with the Motorola H40 Neo. It's just been unveiled and we have here in a beautiful hue. It's called the Canel Bay. It's basically a combination of uh, blue and, uh, well, uh, green. It's one of the slimmest phones on the market and still pretty powerful. It comes with a curved screen which looks gorgeous and has a very high refresh rate of 160, excuse me, 144 hertz. It comes with a few beautiful uh, cases in the box, but that's not the only thing. It has a very fast charging, 80 watts. If you want materials, there's glass at the front, which is curved on the sides, as I said as well. There's a plastic frame here and also a plastic at the back side. Well, in this case, it's echo leather actually. Uh, we don't have measurements yet, but I'm pretty sure it's below 180 grams, if not even below 170 grams. The screen is a 6.55 inch with a Full HD Plus resolution, and the selling point is the 144 hertz refresh rate. Coupled with a MediaTek Dimensity 1050 CPU, it should be good enough for gaming. And aside from gaming, you should also have some productivity needs covered up. The productivity needs are covered via, uh, well, Moto Connect, which you saw before, and also via Ready 4. Ready 4 lets you expand experience in the desktop one with a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Also lets you transform the handset into a, well, a webcam. There's also screen share, hotspot, and PC lock. It's a 5G handset, this one here. And I mentioned the CPU before, Dimensity 1050. It's not alone, it's coupled with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Moto H40 Neo doesn't have a micro SD card slot, unlike the other debuts, the Moto G84 and the Moto G54 Power. Uh, what we do have is a 32 megapixel selfie camera, which probably combines four pixels in one to deliver eight megapixel shots. And then we have the dual back camera, 50 megapixel main shooter with optical emistabilization and f1.8 aperture and a 13 megapixel camera for the ultra wide needs autofocus means that you're going to be able to take uh, well macro shots with it now it actually reminds me of the edge series when you look at the curvature of the screen there's a very edge vibe to it if you go into the camera interface you'll be treated to a bunch of familiar motorola features ranging from panorama to dual capture spot color night vision scan time lapse spot color again this time photo that was video ultra resolution which is the 50 megapixel picture taking photo boot and more in the pro section you can tweak the exposure iso uh, shutter white balance and focus we have a portrait mode as well we have a photo section with the macro option as well and the video department which offers a resolution you can shoot 4k videos which is nice to see we also have the slow motion area. The price should be around 300 to 350 dollars, which is actually not that bad. And the other features we're mentioning, the stereo speakers for one, the 5G connectivity, the other, NFC, and a USB-C 3.1 port at the bottom, which is actually not bad to see. 5,000 milliampere hour battery with a huge 80 watt charging. And I'm actually pretty impressed by this phone because it's kept below $400. It's an all-rounder, so you can do your productivity with Ready4, have your Moto Secure with a pin pad scramble, which basically uh, scrambles your pin numbers so people can already read, read them since they're not in a succession. There's also Moto Connect, which lets you extend your phone to nearby displays. It's basically a continuation of what you're doing with the well ready for the software is android 13 and you have at least two years of android updates if not even three if not even four seeing how things are evolving in the motorola field they were owned by google at some point they kept a good relationship and if you want to tweak your experience you can go here and personalize your android with themes fonts colors icon shapes display layout fingerprint animation by the way the fingerprint scanner is embedded in the screen and it's of the optical variety for me it's a bit of a gaming mid-range phone if you look at the high refresh rate which is 144 hertz and the cpu is also pretty capable in that regard now if you go here to the display section you got brightness edge lights night light flicker prevention screen record colors and display refresh rate which can be set to auto 60 120 or 144 for your gaming needs that's it from us from jsno.com first contact with the motor ride 40 neo it also comes in other beautiful colors but this is the main one the most pretty the prettiest